Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula, the Siberian Husky channel that lets you know everything you need to know about owning, training, and living with a Siberian Flufferoni pizza. Dude, oh good lordy, Gila has just been shedding like a monstrosity. No matter where you pick, Floof is gonna come, watch, just watch this. Just watch, real quick. Look at that, you see that? Yeah. You're floofified. You're doing the floofification, which means it's hard for me to keep up, dude. You know what I mean, dude? So there's just floof all over the house all the time, even though it doesn't look like there is because I keep everything vacuumed and, and nice. Oh, but just wait until the morning. Yeah, because the floof is gonna come right off of that booty and fall right onto the floor. It's forever. That's just what I'm gonna have to deal with for the rest of my life. Now we're just hanging out, relaxing, maxing today with Britney Spears and Gila. Oh wait, hold on, Let, scratch that. Britney Spears and Gila. And if you didn't know, she's the missus. And yeah, I've said it a thousand times, Britney Spears is the boy. And if you don't like it, take your booty outside and walk away. Britney Spears is like, I demand respect even though my name is B Spears, you understand? So I've been trying to get out more episodes to you guys, but I've been so busy, like ultra busy. For some reason, my life in the last couple of weeks, everything that I've ever done has culminated into this one moment that's happening now. And there's just so much to be done. For example, I'm selling a rental property and it's like the most astronomical crazy thing that I've ever had to deal with. I have to drive here, I have to drive there, I have to drive everywhere. And he was like, Dad, why you keep leaving home? What are you doing? Are you going and meeting other dogs without, are you petting other dogs? Listen, lady, I'd take you, but it's like 300 million miles away. You wouldn't like to drive, would you? I didn't think so. The owner of the Siberian Husky lunges in very, very slowly. Oh yes, you see it, miss, you do. And he puts the treat right on her face. Now, he's going to count to one, he's going to count to two, and then finally, three, go ahead. Oh, you missed it. Oh, it was a failure, but nonetheless, you did a wonderful job. It was a great attempt. You wanna try again, bro? Okay, whoa, whoa, geez, okay. Bring it down to like a three, Mrs. Eight. All right, again, as we said, we're going to bring the treat towards the husky, but we're going to tell her to stay. No, no, stay, no, stay, stay, stay. I'm gonna put this on your nose no matter what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on your nose. I'm gonna, you know, put it on your nose. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. She's like, don't kill me. Oh, you cheater! Oh, you cheated! That was the cheatiest cheat I've ever seen. Where did that cracker go? Where did that cracker go? Did it go in your little mouth hole? Oh my gosh. It did, didn't it? You know, that's against the law. That's against doggo law. I don't know what that means. That's not gonna get you out of doggo prison though. I'm pretty sure you're in big, 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 big troubles. Yeah, you stole. Yeah, you stole. Looking the other way is not going to do a thing. Not a thing. At some point in time, you got to look over here. You have to give it up and look back over here. Admit to the camera. Admit to the camera that you stole. Admit. Do it. Admit to the camera that you stole. Stop right there, criminal scum. Nobody breaks the law on my watch. Say, I'm a stealer for life. Say, I'm a stealzer. And that's a husky for you. If you're wondering about husky behavior, that's exactly how they act. With a big old attitude, so you gotta poke their little butts. Warning, getting a Siberian Husky may slightly impair your ability to do anything in life, including going on vacations, being able to concentrate for more than five minutes, being able to sit down and relax, being able to sleep past 6 a.m., being able to safely take a poop, and never being left alone while consuming food or beverage. Now that you know the warnings of owning a Siberian Husky, please proceed with caution, because once you have one, they are your best friend for life. So I got some cool stuff for the Siberian Huskies lately, and no, it's not something sponsored, dude. It's way cooler than a sponsor, man. I got you a pair of pit vipers. You know what pit vipers are? You don't? Do you want me to show them to you? Okay, come here, come here, I'm gonna show them. This is what a pair of pit vipers look like, dude. Look at them. They're crazy, they're like from the 80s. What do you think? You wanna put them on? You wanna try them on and look fly like Marty McFly? <laughs> You okay? Well then let's try them on, dude. 
Aw oh, man, you look dopalicious wearing some pit vipers, dude. Those look so good on you. Man, I was right to get you those sunglasses, bro. You're like, you're like the coolest husky I've ever seen on the YouTubicles, man. <laughs> Can I call you Brittany McFly now? So recently, guess what I found, dudes and ladies? I found a skate park right next to me. It's literally down the street and no one ever goes to this skate park. So I'm thinking we're gonna bring Britney Spears, we're gonna bring Gila, who's looking at her bootack, and we're gonna go to this skate park and we're gonna skate around. I think we're gonna do that next video, but I gotta get a helmet, I gotta get some knee pads, and I gotta get some pads for my elbows, dude. He's like, dude, do I gotta get a helmet? Am I gonna wear a helmet when I go skate being? Yeah. No, you don't have to wear a helmet, but Daddy-O does, so we gotta go find a cool one for me, okay, man? Come on, let's go choose a skateboard that we're gonna use when we go skateboarding. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to 60 Formula's shop of retro skateboard stuff. So as you can see, we got all sorts of stuff, but what's in there important? What we're looking at is down here. What are we gonna use when we go to the skate park? I'm thinking this beautiful skateboard right here with the crazy swirly Spitfire wheels. This is a great skateboard for vertical skateboarding, which is what we're gonna be doing. And that's exactly why I need a helmet. I'm not the perfect vert skateboarder. So I'm gonna need to get all the safety equipment that I can get. And what I'll do is I'll just strap Gila and Britney Spears to a leash and I'll be like, dude, let's go down the rampe together. Random pro tip when it comes to owning a Siberian Husky, get yourself a rope lead instead of a flexi lead. Flexi leads are the one that go, Wee -wee 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 and they all wind up inside of that thing and the tether is really, really tight and when it wraps around your leg, it hurts so bad. He's like, I'm sorry, Papa. If that ever happened to you, I am so sorry. Rope leads are far and beyond the best choice of leash you wanna use whenever you have a Siberian Husky. The reason for this is because it limits the amount of distance that they can run away from you in comparison to a flexi lead and they're also built strong. So they're amazingly durable and no matter how long your Husky is is pulling and tugging on a rope lead, they're built to last. So definitely check out rope leads if you're thinking about getting a Siberian Husky and you want an effective, amazing leash that's going to last the test of time. Look at all the free information we give you guys. All right, before we slam a lamb a ding dong into the next topic, we gotta hear a word from Le Sponsel. Who is Le Sponsel today, Mr. Spiels? Mm. Who? Pet Libro? I've never heard of a Pet Libro. What do they have to offer today? Today's episode is sponsored by Pet Libro and their 6L Automatic Pet Feeder, which is the great way to keep your Siberian Husky or your dog at home fed while you're not there. How many of us out there have an extremely busy schedule and you need to feed your pet at home? But sometimes you're just not able to get there in time because you got other stuff to do. Having a pet feeder at home is the best way to not only keep your Siberian Husky or dog comfortable and end their loneliness, but it also automatically feeds them. So if you can't make it for dinner time, your Husky is not going to go with a hungry belly. And lucky for us, Pet Libro provides us with one of the best pet feeders out there and Britney Spears and Gila, oh wait, hold on, I did it again. Britney Spears and Gila, they absolutely love the Pet Libro automatic pet feeder. She's like, whoa, you talking about food, dude? Cause I swear, I'll leave right now and go get some. What, <laughs> where's the food? Where is it? I'm talking about it, but it's not gonna pop up, dude. You gotta get one of these. Let's go ahead and see what's inside and take a look at one of these Pet Libro automatic pet feeders. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside of this thing. Whoa, dude, look how McFancy it is. It's the, it's the double, triple, quarter pounder amazing fanciness. All right, dude, all we gotta do is open up this fancy top. You wanna do it or you want me to do it? Okay, all right, all right, do it, I'll do it. Whoa. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. Didn't mean to let it attack you. What is this thing? So right out the box, this thing comes packed with every single thing that you need. What is this, dude? Ooh, silica gel. This is one of the tastiest treats in the world. You guys want some of this? I'm absolutely kidding. Don't ever give this to your pet. It will make them very sick. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it out. Oh man, this is McFancy Schmancy, dude. Look at that, bro. <laughs> he was like, let's take turns putting our entire heads 
inside of it. So one of the pieces that came with it is this tray, and we're gonna go ahead and just, boom, set the tray up just like that. And now all we have to do is add the top to it. So we just, whoa, set it right here. And boom, look at that, man. That is fancy McSchmancy pants. Of course, it comes with a power cord and everything you need to turn it on and get it functionalized. So as you can see, everything is powered on now. It's got so many different settings. You can record your voice, let your dogs know when it's time to eat. You can change the time and change the schedule as to when you want this to disperse the food for your pepperoni pizza. It is an all-in-one amazing unit that you should absolutely check out. We're gonna have everything in the description down below that you need to know to get your hands on one of these and we might even have a discount code so that you can save some cash money. Now the only thing left to do is to fill this bad boy up with food, so let's take the silica gel and go ahead and put it, I'm just kidding, let's get some treats. Look at these two fighting like monkeys. You get in here. Is she being bad? Is she is she being bad? Whoa! What's that? <laughs> Did you got the big stick? Heard you had a lot to say. Now you don't really talk too much though. I've been running out these gates. But I'm not ever really late, no Yeah I've been seeing all these sights Been traveling In my suitcase I pack like I got my plans <laughs> Eli, I think you You, you tied yourself Tied you where you fly today I've been flying in and in and out In and out I've been flying in and in and out In and out I've been flying in and in and out In and out I guess we're gonna retire. That's gonna be it from us today. We had a blast hanging out with you. We miss you, and we're gonna see you in a couple of days. If you had fun, don't forget to smash that like button, hit subscribe, check out our sponsor in the description down below, click that linkification, and if you guys have any questions about Siberian Flufferoni pizzas, hit us up in the comments. We'll be sure to answer as much as we can. Until next time, we'll see you with another episode, and guess what, dude? Yep, whatever we make. Peace! Scooby da ba 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 do ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do do. I've been flying in and in and out, in and out. I've been flying in and out, in and out of state.